Have you ever considered how your actions speak so much louder than your words? Like what you do actually says more about you than what you say about you. It's so interesting how Jesus tells his friends that, you know, a good tree produces good fruit, but a bad tree, it will never produce good fruit. It can only produce bad fruit. If a tree has a disease, like it's, it's going to make people sick if they eat that fruit. I think it's interesting because we spend so much time thinking about what kind of fruit everyone around us is producing instead of just asking, is it good fruit? Um, and, and even about our own lives, I think a lot of times we're so worried about like, oh, like I produce apples and they get to do something cool like bananas or oranges or, or maybe those people that produce kiwis, they probably drive you nuts, but like they produce kiwis, you know, that's, it's, it's good fruit. <laughs> is it good? good is what we need to ask. Not, is it this kind of fruit or that kind of fruit? Jesus says, is, is it good? Is it nourishing? And when we look at our actions, that's what Jesus is trying to tell us through these verses, that he wants his followers to be more concerned, not with the kind of fruit that we are producing, because he calls us to produce different fruit, but is it the fruit nourishing? So when you look at your life, when people are around you, they, do they get sick because they're around you? There might be something inside your heart that's causing that to happen. Um, and, and when people are around you, are they, are they filled with life and love and, and peace because you're with them, because you're being Jesus towards them? That's the kind of fruit Jesus is really concerned about with his followers. He, he's not concerned about what kind of fruit. He just wants it to be good. And so that, that fruit that is good is going to bring nourishment to those around us. You can use this on how you look at friends. If you ever wondered, like, is that person good? Like, what's going on with them? You just look at the fruit. Is it nourishing to you? Or you're going to find out that it might look really good on the outside, but on the inside, it's all rotten and bad. Um, that that's the fruit is is gonna is gonna actually be not nourishing to you at that point. It's gonna make you sick. Uh, and so, make sure that as you're looking at people around you, and as you look at your own life, you're not looking at what type of fruit. That's not what it's all about. Is it good? Is it nourishing? That's what Jesus is trying to tell us through these verses. And he really wants us to be careful and wants to make sure that we understand that the, there's consequences to if we've got this disease in us, oh, we're no good. We're gonna be cast out. It's a serious thing. Uh, Jesus isn't mincing words here. He wants everyone to know, seriously, the fruit you have, it better be good. Uh, it better be from him. It can't be under your own strength. He wants us to have good fruit. So Lord, I pray that you would help us to have good fruit today. Uh, would you transform us from the inside out? Give us something that we can't give ourselves. We need you to transform us. Take away the diseases in our life, the things that we get hung up on that have caused us to not be loving and get frustrated with the people around us or annoyed with those around us. Lord, I pray that you would just help us to see how loving people and nourishing them through love and kindness and grace is the way that you have called us to live, to be grace-driven and truth-led. Lord, I pray that we would live that out and have healthy fruit in our lives because of it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Peace, friends.